What's up guys, Matty the Nerf Guy here with a short review of this Litec vest. The Litec vest came with this transparent blue mag, a transparent orange 6 mag, a wristband, as well as some darts. 30 of these, uh, you know, elite fake darts. Overall, the fabric is nice. The, the sewing is pretty good. Not as high quality as Gorilla Tactical or the Nerf Vest, even though the Nerf Vest sucks. Practicality uses. Uh, tech, for Tactical looks, it's good. For practicality uses, not very good in my mind for more than, for more than one, a single day game. I would not use this as more than a loner rig for people who are just newbies to the no hobby. The vest also has these pouches that hold the mat included, said included mags. I'm gonna do this with one hand, sorry guys. You'll also notice in this, in right here, I have a jolt with one dart ready, rocked and ready to go. That's just a last resort blaster. Again, this is just a very quick review. For practicality uses, I would not recommend using this thing for longer than a one-day game, here and there. This is idea for a loner rig, so if you have a player who really wants to play, use that as a loner. Here's my exact strike. I personally use this blaster with this setup. The reason being that it just makes sense. The quality is very good, but again, for practicality uses, I would not recommend using this thing beyond its recommended, uh, my rec the, my recommended use because it will wear out eventually. It is cheap, pla it is very cheap and durable, but it's not. After using it for about a solid month, it is still it's beginning to wear and tear. So again, this is not something I'd recommend, such as like a week long game, something like yeah, two to three day, or something. Yeah, I'd recommend that. I recommend getting two or three of these as they if you if you do, they are relatively cheap. Each of these packages is only about ten dollars, so it's about eighteen dollars shipped. But a little over eighteen dollars shipped here to the US, just know it'll take a couple of months. I ordered this on uh September twenty first of this year and it got here on November on November tenth, so it was yeah, will it uh so it was reasonably uh on November tenth I believe, so it was reasonably it was reasonably two, almost two months, but even then, still time consuming, but still pretty good. Again, the quality is very good, um, even though it's cheap. I, again, cannot recommend this for a large scale game. It says this is meant, in my mind, this is more form over function. It, it only holds two magazines, a, like a, 12 dart mag and a 6 dart mag, um, so that's not very high capacity. In my mind, this is probably more for looks and for more like children's play than an actual battle ready nerf vest. Um, it is very comfortable, it doesn't have the straps that, uh, you know, the velcro that nerf has. It has this zip up, and it's got this pouch that you can put darts or extra shots in. Other than that, it's pretty good. Um, again, I cannot recommend. Again, I know I keep mentioning this up, this is only something that I would use as a beginner's loner. So if you don't really care much about the mags, and let's say you have extra magazines that you can just toss in there, these are only good for like loner mags. Again, unlike the Nerf mags, which are meant to be used, these ones are fairly cheap because the, pl the plastic is fairly cheap. Production is... Eh, is meh. Just my honest opinion. So, again, again guys... Again, guys, I do not recommend using this more than its intended use. The quality is pretty poor. Um, even, well, I mean, the plastic is... Sorry, guys. The plastic itself is still re relative... Well, the plastic of the magazines is pretty good, but it'll still wear out eventually. Um, I'd recommend using this thing with, like, an off-brand blaster, such as, like, Zuru or Busby. Just based on the fact that, um, you know, I mean... This is an off-brander, so why the heck not? But yeah, um, so yeah. There's not really much to say about this, it's just a vest. 
came with a bunch of accessories for over under ten dollars, which is pretty cool. But even then, it's a uh, it's fairly light, and I would say nothing more than a lightweight loadout. This has just been my review of this Lightig vest package. You guys have a great day. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, wherever you're from and if you're viewing this, you guys have a happy new year in the upcoming 2018. This will be my, this will have, will be my last video of 2017 and I will resume uploading on January 1st. You guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.